This is the Hatchet Snowboard from Weston. It's only the second year that it's been in their lineup and it also happens to be the second year that it's picked up a White Lines 100 award. I absolutely love this thing. It's liquid snowboarding. Point it pretty much wherever you like and it's gonna handle the conditions with ease, but get it into the powder and you'll see what makes this thing so special. So why is this such a versatile snowboard? Well, it's largely down to its shape and profile. The hatchet is designed to be ridden far shorter than your conventional snowboard, which is why it only comes in a 152 and new for this season, a 156 size. It has the same surface area of a much longer snowboard, but that volume has been pulled in from the ends and then stretched out through the waist width. Volume shifted snowboards like these can give you the best of both worlds. So I ride the 152 Hatchet, which has a waist width of over 270 millimeters. Now that's pretty wide, but in deep conditions, it just blasts along the snow surface and it feels totally unsinkable. And then having that reduced running length makes it incredibly nimble and primed for chucking butters and spins and slashes in the powder. You'll also notice that it has much more of a twin-shaped outline than your typical powder snowboard does. There's a very subtle taper and a slight setback in the stance to improve float and performance in your preferred direction, but the hatchet rides effortlessly the other way too, making it so much easier to take off and land and switch when you're in the deeper snow. And then by giving it a tighter side cut radius as well as a profile that features camber in the center with rocker sections in the nose and tail, it doesn't lose out on the more playful and agile feeling from edge to edge that's often compromised on boards of these dimensions. Of course, all this means it's probably not gonna be your board of choice for dropping into a death-defying fall line descent in the backcountry, but for powder fields, tree lines, wind lips and pillow drops, and even all mountain shredding, this thing is absolutely on the money. The construction of the hatchet is also pretty unique. It feels lively underfoot with a wood core that's made from a combination of poplar and bamboo stringers, and that's then sandwiched between triax fiberglass layers. But there is a secret weapon woven into the core which supercharges its pop and overall stability. Weston's S-Weave construction features carbon fibre stringers that are woven through the core from the top sheet to the base and back again. So this creates an almost elastic like tension throughout the board, giving it a crazy amount of pop. So whether you're boosting off a natural feature or spinning off the lip of a jump, the hatchet is spring loaded and so easy to get airborne with. It scores pretty high on the durability scale too. So the top sheet is made from an eco-friendly scratch resistant material, as well as polyurethane sidewalls and reinforcements in the tip and the tail. So whether you're coming into contact with rocks, tree stumps or park features, that rugged construction is gonna add a load of durability to the board. And the guys at Weston know it too. This thing comes with an impressive four year warranty. Finally, the base is specced up with a supercharged and lightning fast Electra sintered base. It retains loads of wax, so it'll keep running fast in between services and it won't leave you struggling for straight line speed out the bottom of a powder field. I've got to say, for me, this one is impossible to fault. My only criticism with last year's model was the slightly uninspiring colorway, but I think this year's black on black graphics look the business. And for those of you looking to venture further afield this winter, there's also a splitboard version of the hatchet. I've ridden the hatchet on some of my deepest powder days of the season, right through to spring park laps in the slush and everything in between. Its versatility across the mountain is second to none and its potential to open up backcountry freestyle to the masses is right up there with the best. I can't think of many boards that get me as stoked on riding as this one does right here. Cheers for watching this review of the Weston Hatchet Snowboard. If you do have any questions about this one, then please stick them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you haven't done so already, please also subscribe to our YouTube channel where this season we're gonna be bringing you a whole bunch of snowboard product reviews. Thanks again and see you in the next one.